It is day four in the Michael Draga manslaughter trial. Draga was has admitted to shooting Marquise McLaughlin outside a Clearwater convenience store in July of last year. That confrontation came after McLaughlin's girlfriend parked in a disabled person's space. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser has been covering this story and now the trial from the beginning. Eric, who will jurors hear from today? Well, Allison, the day has started with three expert witnesses who are essentially laying the groundwork for that key piece of video. In fact, two of them that the prosecution says is at the heart of their case. So the very first person called to the stand today was an engineer, a videotape engineer, who spoke about the accuracy of the video that was taken at the convenience store itself, even after it's been slowed down. And then two Pinellas deputies took the stand talking about properly reading Draca his legal rights before taking a video statement from him. After that, the judge told jurors that they'd be watching that video of Draca's statement to deputies after the shooting. That video, he told them, can be used and treated like any other evidence in the case. So for close to an hour, they heard Draca in his own words telling detectives why he felt like he was the one being attacked. You're thinking he's gonna come kick you? I'm thinking he's coming to do the rest of it. Did you see him with the firearm? No, sir, I didn't see him with anything. Okay, what do you mean the rest of it? Whatever beating was coming after that. So during that video, Draca speaks to the detectives using a lot of legal jargon, words like negative rather than no. He also talks to them about something called the 21 foot rule. Now that's the distance that cops learn during training that an attacker can cover in the same time essentially that it would take them to draw and fire a weapon in self-defense. They also asked Draca at some point, what if I told you that the video shows that Marquise McLaughlin actually was stepping away from you, retreating at the time that you fired. And in Draca's words, he said, I would disagree with that in a heartbeat. They then later tell him that McLaughlin has unfortunately passed away. Draca shows no real emotion, but responds by saying, quote, thank you for telling me. Testimony still going on at this midday. They are expected to break soon for lunch. And I'll have more for you coming up tonight, of course, on 10 News. Allison. And you can watch the live stream of the trial at WTSP.com. There you'll also find a timeline of how everything has unfolded in this case. Eric will have a wrap up of what happened today in court starting at 5 o'clock on 10 News.